Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE compared against the Nothing Phone 2A and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you between both of these devices, they're very interesting because they're both kind of competing with a different market sectors I will say, but their pricing strategy is fairly similar. The Galaxy S23 FE is more expensive in the brand new market, but you are able to buy it in the used market for a little bit cheaper. So this right there is a very big thing to keep in mind. It's cheaper in the used market, but the Nothing Phone 2A brand new, I think is still cheaper brand new than the used Galaxy S23 FE. So that right there is a pretty crazy thing going on there. But regardless, I will tell you between both these devices, very good. You can't really make a wrong decision here. But if you're wanting the more expensive one, in some ways, you know, it'll kind of be more surprising in some ways well, as we kind of talk about it throughout this video. So if you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the Galaxy S23 FE, which came out back in 2023, barely even like, what are like six, seven months ago, this phone on the front had a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display. Now, this was a pretty good panel. I thought it was a really good panel, honestly, when it first came out. And Samsung with their, you know, FE lineup, they've done a pretty good job with their whole entire FE lineup in general. And with this one, it's more or less what you'd expect. I think the display is pretty solid. It is a 120 hertz display at that. So that's another pretty big asset going on for this particular phone too. And I do think like if you're going to go through and get some sort of device, I do think this is a pretty good option right there because the you know, device looks pretty good. And once again, there's not really that much to complain about here from a device perspective. It's a good looking display and it's a whole bunch of display at that. Now with the Nothing Phone 2A, this is a little bit of a different story for the most part. So with this particular device, you are getting a bigger 6.7 inch AMOLED display. So it's 1080p and it's 120 hertz display at that. Now, I will tell you between both these panels, I feel like the Galaxy S23 FE's panel is better, but the Nothing Phone 2A's panel looks a little bit more better in some ways because it does have thinner bezels. So that right there is like a kind of a thing to keep in mind, but I will tell you still the S, you know, S23 FE's panel is, you know, my preferred choice. But I like the Nothing Phone 2A's panel because, you know, like I said, it's a cheap phone and you're getting a device that really doesn't cost as much money as the FE. And that device looks very good. I like that phone a lot. And with the S23 FE, I mean, this is a phone that's probably going to be giving you a better display and Samsung makes these displays versus something like the Nothing Phone 2A's panel, which is still giving you a 120 hertz display and looks very good. But like I said, I think I prefer the one that basically is the Samsung side. Now, both these phones are giving you USB Type-C ports on the bottom. Neither one of these phones are giving you micro SD card slots. So that's like one thing to keep in mind there. On the back side, this is also a very interesting thing going on here. So with the Nothing Phone 2A, you are getting basically primarily a plastic back on the back of that phone. So that right there is one thing to keep in mind. If you're wanting a device that's going to be giving you essentially the better styling, the FE might be the one for you because that one is basically giving you that type of styling. It's giving you a you know full-on glass back. With the with the Nothing Phone 2A, this one's giving you a plastic back. So this right there is another thing to keep in mind. Like if you're wanting the phone with the better back, again, it might be the one where you know the plastic back may not be the best one there, you know, in that particular case, but still totally okay. Both these phones are going to be giving you other similar things like wireless charging and stuff like that. And it looks like the Nothing Phone 2A does not have any wireless charging. I take that back. I keep thinking that phone has wireless charging because every single phone in the market has it. The Nothing Phone 2A doesn't have it as far as I can see. With the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, not only are you getting wireless charging, you're also getting reverse wireless charging, which is another really cool feature. So you can easily just go through and just literally just, you know, do wireless charging or reverse wireless charging on that phone. So that right there is like another really, really big thing to keep in mind there too. So that right there is another big, massive thing to keep in mind. Beyond that, though, on the back of both them, very interesting stuff. Like between both, they're very, very similar. Like there's not really like crazy amounts of differences, but I do like both these phones for a lot of the stuff that they basically are giving you. So that right there is another big thing to keep in mind there as well. So beyond that, that kind of covers it up on the outside of both. Now from the camera side of things, both these phones are also very interesting. So on the back side of both, you're getting a triple camera setup on the S23 FE, whereas on the Nothing Phone 2A, you're getting a dual camera setup. Now here's the thing, okay? You're getting an ultra wide, you know, telephoto and, you know, wide angle lens on the FE. On the Phone 2A, you're just getting a wide and ultra wide camera. Although it may seem like the Nothing Phone 2A's camera is only slightly behind of the S23 FE, I will tell you the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE's camera is significantly better than the Nothing Phone 2A's. I can't really name a reason why the, the you know, Nothing Phone 2A's camera is better, and every single way the Galaxy S23 FE's camera is better. So with the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE's camera, this is a very, very good camera in every single way. 
This is the thing that I like a lot about this particular lens because, you know, you're getting 4K at 60 on the back and you're getting 4K at 60 on the front, but you're also getting 8K capability on the back of the Galaxy S23 FE as well. That's another really big thing to keep in mind there on this particular device. So if I'm going through and if I'm getting some sort of phone, I definitely want it to have, you know, as high of a resolution I can film in, and the FE is going to be giving me that. On top of that, I mean, with the Galaxy, with the Nothing Phone 2A, 4K at 30 on the back, 1080p at 60 on the front, it's not really even that crazy of a resolution that you can kind of film in here. So that's kind of another thing to keep in mind. But if I'm going through and kind of getting one phone that I like a lot, I mean, the Galaxy S23 FE's camera is definitely better here. In terms of the software, this is another interesting thing because between both, they're both still supported with software, basically on the latest version of Android, you know, so still good stuff between both. The thing here though is that between both, with the Nothing Phone 2A, you are going to be getting essentially, you know, a stock version of Android, where the FE you're going to be getting a, you know, full on like skinned version of Android. So this right there is like another interesting thing to keep in mind here, because if you're wanting the phone that's going to be giving you, I guess, a little bit of a more cleaned out version of Android, the the Nothing Phone 2A is basically going to be giving you that, where a phone like the Galaxy S23 FE is going to be way more skinned. So that right there, once again, just a very, a very big thing to keep in mind there too. But beyond that, you're going to be getting very good, you know, build and everything like that from both these phones. So, you know, you're still going to be getting security updates and software updates and everything like that between both these devices. So there's not really going to be like an insane amount of differences between those two. But, you know, they're still supported. They still have a lot of features, but definitely with the Galaxy S23 FE, it's, it's going to be more skinned than something like the Nothing Phone 2A. Now, beyond that, another big thing here is that between both these devices, you are also going to be getting different types of chipsets. So with the Galaxy S23 FE, you're going to be getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset inside with 8 gigs of RAM. With a Nothing Phone 2A, you're getting that MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset, crazy name, with 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. So the thing here, and I will tell you between both, you're going to be getting a fairly good type of experience between both these devices, which is something that's good, but the Galaxy S23 FE's performance is going to be significantly better. The thing with the Nothing Phone 2A is that this type of, you know, phone performance is very good. I like this phone. I think it's, you know, good enough for the most part. But definitely with a device like the S23 FE, this is going to be a significantly better device in almost every single way. This is going to be giving you that full on, you know, Snapdragon chipset which is something that's very cool. I like that phone a lot because of that. You you may not be getting as much RAM compared to, you know, the top tier Nothing Phone 2A, but you are going to be getting a significantly better device on something like the, you know, Samsung Galaxy S23 FE over the Nothing Phone 2A. So kind of keep that in mind right there. But beyond that, what I'll definitely tell you is for both these devices, they're both very interesting. I like both these phones a lot. And definitely with a device like the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, you know, this is probably the one that I like a, a lot. Probably a majority of people, you know, buying that device. I think that one is a way better phone in almost every single way. And that one makes a lot more sense for me to kind of recommend to people than something like the, you know, nothing phone 2A. So keep that in mind. I think the phone 2A is still very good. I like that phone a lot. But definitely when I look at a phone like the, you know, Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, that is probably the phone that's better. But the Nothing Phone 2A is a cheaper device, so keep that in mind. But regardless, that's kind of how I see both these devices going through within both these devices. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sultan.